أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأخذة من لساني يفقه قولي So brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh So welcome to this halaqa uh, This is going to be a brand new halaqa topic um, We are going to call this Fiqh of Purification And this particular topic We are going to talk about Wudu, ghusl, cleanliness And general topics like um, wiping over the socks and uh, things that are related to worship what should we do the tayammum the concessions and so on all right so before we get started we should have our intentions correct that's foremost thing i know and the purpose why we come here is first and foremost we want to increase our iman right strengthen our iman in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also the when we attend halaqa special blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends the mercy that comes uh, in our lives our life starts to change and things good things start to happen and inshallah from these halaqa love within our families will increase and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the same and also able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better now, some of you might be thinking, Brother Nanchi, we already know this topic. Our kids know this topic. Why are you like making a halaqa out of it? We learned these things when we were children. So, the thing here is that, yes, it's true. We, here we teach our kids in Sunday school topics related to purification, wudu and ghusl. But, you know, there are many things which we really do not know. I myself went to Al Maghrib seminar about the exact topic and I was really uh, blown away by the amount of information that I did not know which I should be knowing not as a scholar but as just a regular person there are so many things that we go through in our life and just knowing wudu and ghusl is not sufficient we need to know whether what should be done in this particular situation do I have a concession or not is there uh, something that I can take advantage of and which thing is very important which thing is our religion a little bit tolerant about and things like that and I will give you a lot of examples which will show the common mistakes of people even adults all right this topic is very important and I'm going to be mentioning why this is very important Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in a verse in uh, Surah Tawbah Tawbah is uh, verse number 108 a part of this verse when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about uh, the masajid, the people praying in it. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Feehi rijalun yuhibbuna an yatatahharu wallahu yuhibbul muttahhirin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying about the masjid that in it there are men who love to clean and purify themselves. And Allah loves those who make themselves clean and pure so Allah really loves those people now of course cleanliness is very important but we do not really understand the meaning of this verse until we see the person who actually was a walking Quran and who was that person it was our beloved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you know for me I really did not understand this verse yeah cleanliness is good and Allah really loves cleanliness but I see this concept how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam implemented subhanallah it's really mind boggling it's really I'm amazed for instance if you just look the very last day of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was on his deathbed and you know the time the person does the very last few things on his deathbed these are like very important those are the times you know that what person really keeps something very important and you know from that story of on his deathbed he saw he requested Aisha radiallahu one thing what was that what was that brother 
miswak you know just imagine this i mean he wanted to do miswak he was just few minutes away from his death and what is he concerned about i have to clean myself i am meeting my lord and i have to clean my teeth i mean in today's world that would be the last thing a person would think i have to clean my teeth and i'm i'm dying so because he understood the meaning of this verse and he implemented this how much importance this uh, purification is and that's why even when a person is born the very first thing in this world what do we do we clean and also the person when he dies what is the thing what is the last action that we do on him we clean that person we give him a, a, a ghusl right so that is also the last thing that we do so this basically telling you such importance has been placed on this purification that the person who dies you know it doesn't really matter if he is clean or not he himself wouldn't know he is clean or not but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will return this body to him and that's why we return with cleanliness okay and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in another uh, hadith in sahih muslim he said cleanliness or tahara is half of iman half of iman obviously one way of looking at it is that you know if you do not have cleanliness you won't be able to do the basic worship that we are supposed to be doing so that will be all cut off and also half in the sense how important it is how important this topic is that's why it is said it's half of iman so when something is given a lot of importance we have to pay a lot of attention to it so that's why when we have a halaqa topic like this don't be uh, saying to yourself that okay this is something which i know already and i will show you you do not know the things that you should be knowing sometimes so that's why we need to spend some time learning about it and inshallah one other thing is that if you also read the stories uh, the seerah the lifetime of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he passed through so many situations the wars will be going on every single year especially in the medina uh, period every single year there was someone he has to dispatch for military is uh, the platoons and you know the so many wars going on you know that whole seerah that we covered uh, partially some time ago and during these times also he has so many military decisions to make what does he do he sits down and he teaches his companions what basic things of cleanliness and that's why this one uh, person who was not a muslim he was a mushrik he was laughing at the muslim during that time that you know what is your prophet he said mockingly he teaches you like how to defecate even he wanted to make fun of um, muslims that's why he said that salman al farsi radiyallahu an he heard that and he said he said yes he said very proudly yes our prophet teaches us he teaches us how to sit how to which direction to face and all these things and he's not he was not ashamed he was not at all ashamed he was proud and he was saying yes our prophet teaches it and you know unfortunately our standard is not the same which it's supposed to be the way it is supposed to be now our teachers were saying this and also this reached to us uh, from many uh, different people that we for example um, we go to this conventions right ikna isna or whatever and uh, you know there are janitors who clean the bathrooms right appointed by the convention center and this person was saying one time the janitor was not a muslim he was saying every event happens here i clean it this bathroom area and i do my job but when muslims come and use this event i am really upset i really hate when they come here because they add so much of work for for us so you know we need to really step back and think what went wrong here our religion is supposed to have so high of a standard then what really went wrong our cleanliness you know if you look at just the cleanliness part you take all the religions in the world there is no religion like islam who went into so much detail how to do this how to do that what to do when this happens islam is the only religion and yet something is wrong with our communities that we either ignore or do not give give it enough of a priority that we do not teach our children even and 
Some people don't even follow them. So, oh, that's, that's just a child. It's okay. No, it's not okay. We're going to see how serious it is sometimes. So that's, that's why we need to learn and, you know, raise the bar and let people know that Muslims are so clean that, you know, they, they should open a window of Islam for them. I want to know more about this religion because how clean they are. And because the problem is we do not understand this verse again that we have here. Allah really loves the purified, the tahir, the people.